Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be showing how to make this cool outline effect in Godot 4. To get started, select the object that you want to apply the outline to. Add in a surface material override, it could be any type of material. Now select next pass. Essentially what next pass does is it lets the normal material render and then it does an additional shader on top of it. Select new shader material, then click on that. In shader, click empty, new shader, and let's call this outline. Now go ahead and click on the outline shader and open up in the shader editor. You'll see we have some default code here. We can leave it in here for now. We want to add in a render mode. So render mode, and this will be unshaded as we don't want our line to be shaded. Now this will temporarily affect the entire cube, but that's simply because we haven't set the rest of the code to make it an outline. Next, we'll create a few variables. One will be our uniform sampler 2D. This will sample the entire screen. We'll go over one in a minute and we'll set this to hint screen texture. Next, we want a variable that will hold the outline color. So uniform vector four outline color. We'll just call it that. And we'll set this to source color. And also make sure you're adding in semicolons if you're new to shader code. We also want to control the width of the outline. So uniform float set to outline width and we'll set this to two for now and this is going to be a fragment shader so we can actually delete the vertex void as well essentially since this is a next pass material and it renders over top of the existing cube we want to cut out the internal cube and only have the outline show where it needs to show that's why we're getting the screen texture so let's go ahead and utilize the screen texture to get the actual color that the cube should be so we'll create a new vector four pixelated texture. We'll set this to texture with our screen texture along with our screen UV. And now we can set our albedo to be that pixelated texture dot RGB. And now you can see that we have our cube rendered correctly. And now we simply need to loop over the pixels. And if the outline should be there, we need to render those pixels the color of the outline. So let's go to create a new vector two. This will be our pixel size. Let's set this to 1.0 divided by the viewport size. Now we're gonna go ahead and create two nested for loops. So for int y, we'll set this to negative one times int outline width because we have to round outline width to an integer since we can't cut a pixel in half. So we'll check if y is less than or equal to one times int outline width, and then we'll simply increment y. We'll go to nest in int x, set this to the same thing. So negative one times integer times outline width. And we want to go ahead and check if x is less than one times integer outline width, and we will increment x. No. Inside of here, we're gonna go and create a new texture variable. So vec for text, we'll set this to texture, screen texture with screen UV plus a vector two float x and float y as the arguments multiplied by the pixel size that we set earlier. Now we need to go and check if texture dot alpha is equal to zero. We also need to check if the screen uv dot x plus float x times pixel size.x is less than 1.0. We also want to check if it's greater than zero. And finally, we want to check if y is less than one and is greater than zero as well on all of these. And now finally, if we are within these bounds, we'll set our albedo to be our outline color 
dot RGB and our alpha to be 1.0. L. And now if you save that, you'll see we have our outline material. So whenever we look at it, you'll see we have a nice black outline. And you can head over to your next pass, click on that, click on shader parameters, and you'll see we have access to our outline color and our outline width. So I can drag this up or down, and I can also change the color around. So I can set it to be red or any other color. The original shader code made by developer Lopka Una is available in the description down below. Anyways guys, I hope you found this story helpful. If you have questions or comments, please leave them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.